how to overcome anxiety and depression through living in the moment. So I welcome you in the room, those watching on DVD and those listening on CD. When we deal with anxiety, there's always a loss of perspective. And it has to do with anticipation of future events. So there's a concern about what's coming in the future. A future loss could be a lot, future loss of income that's being anticipated or some disastrous event that's being anticipated. So there'd be some anticipated loss as opposed to depression, which typically has to do with the past. Something bad happened in the past, typically a loss. And in that loss, we become depressed. It could be a loss of a loved one, money, self-esteem. But always in both anxiety and depression, there is always a loss of perspective. There's a tunnel vision and all that exists is the, depressive, the depression. All that exists is the anxiety. And then people don't then see the picture that goes beyond that. There's so much positive going on, so much uh, beauty. And that's the people, we lose sight of that because there's a loss of perspective. And that loss of perspective uh, plagues humanity, always has, where people, we become totally tunnel vision, tunnel vision into some fear about something in the future, tunnel vision about something in the past that's really upsetting us. We're going to talk about ways to overcome, to overcome these, and we're going to use the Dr. Nimmer's mind-body workout system. We're, uh, we're going to talk about uh, different power thoughts that can be used, and we're going to discuss also some natural supplements that can be used to, to overcome it as well. So let's review then. There's always a loss of perspective. There's another common feature that happens, and it's called, I call it feeding. We feed the depression, we feed the anxiety. So once a person is depressed, they start to feed it. You might think that doesn't make sense to do that, but in fact, that's what happens. So let's say a person is depressed, and uh, they read something in the news. Something upsetting happened, financial or disaster or death. They focus on that and feed it. Say, gosh, what a shame. Look at the terrible things going on. Uh, they hear about some event from a friend and they say, God, look at that. Wherever you go, there's tragedy, there's loss, there's despair. And they start collecting that. And then the person start remembering other things related to the, this event. I remember this happened to me and that happened, all of which were upsetting. And so there's a, a mechanism to feed it. Whereas there are many things that are going on that would not confirm it. I have a right, I'm depressed, but who wouldn't be depressed? Look at the nature of our existence. Look at the nature of society. Look at my life. And then say, look at my life. Look at what happened here. Look what happened in my childhood. Look what happened in my adulthood. Look what happened to me financially. Look what happened to me in this relationship. And feeding it. That's the tendency is to do that. That the depression, there's always negative events happening. Now, one way of breaking that cycle is to say, I gain power from these tribulations. It makes me stronger. I gain great power from these tribulations. I gain great power. And then if you're, if you're a spiritual person, say, thank you, Lord, for the power I'm learning. I'm getting more wisdom, more compassion. It's making me stronger in every way. My understanding, the depth within myself is greater. So that's, that's the power thought of the warrior. The warrior's power thought to derive power from hardship. In the Dr. Nuremberg's mind-body workout system, we repeat the power thought the first day every five minutes and then twice an hour thereafter. And we can use an amplifier. I gain great power from this hardship. I gain great power from the darkness. I gain great power from the light. And that's the reverse. It's not like going into a victim. And typically that's there in depression and anxiety. We're a victim. This is going to be done to me. That has been done to me. That has been done to me. Depressed. That will be done to me. Anxiety. We're passive. We're helpless. There is a certain degree of helplessness, but in life. But there's also gaining power from these tribulations. And certainly for those who are spiritually oriented and, 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 and we're told that all things work for good for those who love God, will de we'll derive good. And most people have seen that the hardships that have come have made them better persons, made them better people. They've gained strength and wisdom and understanding. People see that about their lives. The key is to understand when you're in the middle of it. You don't have to wait till it's past. I will gain great power from this. 